Hi guys, Splinky here. Got a different style of video for today. Um, we're actually going to talk about the dev video that came out a couple days ago. There's lots of really interesting stuff in there. Um, so we're going to be having a new game mode. We've got a new spectator mode. We've got a new cosmetic system. And most importantly of all, we have a new set that we're going to be finding out a little bit more about. Um, standard always. If you want more like this, don't forget to subscribe, like all that jazz down below. Or if you want to see me go live, um, Twitch link should be down here somewhere. Um, and my Twitter for when I'm going live. Lots of fun. So let's start this off with the most interesting of them all. We've got the new set that we're going to be seeing. Um, you can see behind me now with the really janky green screen that needs a bit better lighting. I'm sorry about that. That's frustrating. Um, but yeah, so one of the first images they showed is this Yasuo, the Spirit Blossom one. Um, so I'm thinking like they might be going with an Ionia theme here. I'm just going to list off some of the units that they're definitely going to be putting in. Um, and maybe we can like infer more information from that. So we've got the Yasuo with the Spirit Blossom skin. We've got Lulu, um, just her normal skin. We have the Lee Sin. We've got these, oh, what is it? Um, God Fist Lee Sin. Um, we have Standard Kennen, the Azir, um, the Shirima one. We've got the Firecracker Jinx. It's still going like, I'm thinking they're going for some sort of Asian theme here. I'm liking it a lot. Uh, we've got Elise, the Blood Moon skin, and we have the Spirit Sword Janna. So I'm thinking we're going to see like an Ionia, some spirits, demons, the Blood Moons. We've got Shreema going along. I think there's a lot of really cool stuff we're going to be seeing in this new set. Um, and obviously that's just mm, new set. So that's going to be coming out really soon, I believe. Um, we've got the mid set update coming up in January. And then we're going to have the set will end in April and then we'll get a new set. Um, but this, yeah, I'm super pumped for that. That looks epic. Uh, I don't know how you guys have been finding the um, Astro themed one, uh, the galaxies, they call it. But yeah, I've been really enjoying it. I like the mech a lot. Something new, really new, really new, interesting, different style. Um, I hope they've got some really cool things like maybe you have like a couple of demons and they merge and they make like a crazy demon and you'll have like Aatrox as a giant blood moon Aatrox and he'll like go around and stomp everyone and that'd be really awesome. Or you could have the god skins and they do some ascendant thing. There's a lot of really cool um, skin lines we can be playing around with here. Um, but yeah, no, I'm super pumped for this. We'll get more information and I'll be making a video as soon as that comes out and let you guys know immediately. Um, yeah, next thing, after the set, we've got spectator mode, obviously. Um, I'm surprised it's taken them this long. I mean, it's not even coming out yet. I'm surprised, uh, like, that it just needs to come out. Like, they're going to some really cool stuff. You can watch people while you're waiting for a friend. I find myself doing this so often. It's incredible. Um, if you get knocked out at eighth place and your friend goes, gets carried first, got carried through to first, and you're just sat there. I mean, if you accidentally left, like, a goon, you know, that rage leave you do, you're like, oh, I didn't get my stuff. I got knocked out eighth. You rage leave. Now you can't watch it. Yikes. Um, that, we can, we can also watch the Hilo players. That looks pretty cool. Um, you'll imagine you'll see, like, YouTube channels popping up left, right, and center, making um, content based off of that. Or what I really want to start seeing is I want to watch the low ELO players. I don't know if any of you know Ross Boomsocks, but he's got a series, um, Iron something, top-notch series. Oh, beautiful. I want to I wanna see some of that action. Great stuff. Um, obviously, they said we've got a new game mode. Um, they say it's going to fit your schedule better. So I'm thinking like a shorter game mode, possibly. Um, just especially, I think I'm thinking they're pushing that mobile a little bit. So we'll be having a shorter game mode, which is good. Don't get me wrong. Again, you can play that while your friend is carrying himself to first while you got stuck at eighth place. Um, but all like breaks at work, you know, all that jazz. You like got five minutes somewhere, a five minute break to play some TFT would be great because like a current state, 40 minutes is just too long to be playing you know, TFT. Like, I got a 45 minute break at work. I can't play, I can't play a 40 minute game of TFT. I'll do nothing else. I mean, maybe that's what I should be doing, but you know. Um, yeah, after that, we've got cosmetic improvements. This, this is one of the more interesting things, actually. I'm, I'm quite enjoying what they're doing with the cosmetic improvements here. So we've got a new star shard system. Um, and this will replace you having to get duplicates to level up your little legends. Um, so you'll get your one star. We'll talk about how you get your one stars in a moment, but that's going to get even better. Um, and then you will get your star shards out of the... Um, God dang, battle pass, battle pass thing. Um, you get star shards out there, you put them in the legend of your choosing, and then you'll get pump them up to a three star legend. That looks really cool. This is all of this is gonna remind me a lot of gacha games, like I play some, and 
this is this is a lot like a gacha game uh, but they're making it less gachery less whale to get your cosmetic skins um if you don't know what whale is it's someone that puts an ex outrageous amount of money into a game and then they basically pay for the uh, free to play players but, um yeah so you get your star shards out of your battle pass you put them in your one star legend or your two star legend i think they they mentioned in the video about you being able to do your star guardian feather tail thing and the astronaut mole diver because they stuck at two star at the moment because they were only out of the battle pass um but then what they said they're going to do next as i mentioned just like two seconds ago you've got your one stars you'll be able to buy out of the shop and they i believe it says all of them it, they don't really specify but one star variants you can buy out of the shop specifically like you like oh i want i don't know river sprite thing you want you want one of them i'm not massively into the cosmetics i like mine i've got a pink unicorn makes me happy mm. um you buy your one star you get your, your star shards out of your battle pass and then you three star it and then you can you can be whatever whatever little legend you want to be and you don't have to rng or buy thousands of eggs or like any of those things um yeah so that looks really cool and uh, we've got a new arena skin system they're talking about so this this sounds really cool um you have your arena skin and it will interact with the gameplay that's going on in the game um so if you win three star unit if you lose which we never do so that doesn't it's not going to affect any of us um yeah I'm, I'm i'm thinking some really cool stuff. i'm imagining like if any of you played hearthstone you've got the arenas in hearthstone and if you like interacted with some of them they do sort of stuff like there's a volcano you could set off there was like a magical hat that you could pull out different things from i'm i'm, I'm thinking some of this I'm, I'm i'm sure they've taken inspiration from hearthstone because they obviously did a lot of this stuff um i think that's really cool really really cool um add just a little bit more cosmetics to the game you know like we like our cosmetics um and then they talked about some mobile improvements i think this is really good um just just general across the board better functionality on older phones better performance across the board and this is great because i've got a friend um she didn't have a great pc she likes her card games she used to play on console now she's moved to pc it's good stuff but i wanted to say hey do you want to play some tft this looks right up your alley you love your card games you love this kind of stuff just didn't run on her tablet like just the app was just unavailable and i'm hoping that they sort some of these problems out and like they can reach a wider audience because we want more and more people to see this game like it's it's good stuff um yeah they got that let's hope that it's everywhere now um get it on my nokia 310 tft and snake the perfect um yeah got that they talk about having an in-app match history i mean we haven't even got it in the normal client really um so hopefully they do some stuff with that they get map yeah talk about the match history and they talk about in-app chat on mobile um i'm not really sure how that's going to function but like maybe you can i don't know if that's in the game or if that's out of the game i don't use mobile if any of you use mobile just comment down below tell me tell me like, what your experience is like what you what you want to change like i'm sure some of these things like they, they talked about general across the board improvements and like maybe they're touching some of these topics for you um so yeah that's generally like most of the stuff they talk about in this set but big one that new set mm, new set i love that so probably gonna have, I'm, I'm imagining like ionia and demons and gods we've got lulu who's like a pixie we've got kenan oh it's gonna be it's gonna be real good all right anyway thanks everyone remember like subscribe if you want more of this uh, i'll be streaming on twitch at some point thank you you all have a good day now